Hi friends, hope you're doing well. As mentioned last week in our intro, we will be focusing for the next three weeks on praying and sharing praise reports from some of the persecuted countries based on the Open Doors Persecution Watch List. The information is shared from an article posted in January this year by Christianity Today titled, Prayers and Praises from the World's Hardest Places to be a Christian. This week, we will be praying for the regions of Asia and Southeast Asia. But let's listen to the encouraging news from North Korea, Pakistan, and Vietnam. We praise God for North Korea, for the descendants of believers who have kept their faith despite the relentless persecution there since 1945. We praise God for building underground churches and allowing the gospel to be shared in North Korea even though all churches there were destroyed by communist oppression. We continue to praise God for helping them who are thoroughly disconnected from the outside world to nevertheless translate, print, and share the Bible. We praise God for Pakistan for the number of students training in the seminaries and Bible colleges. We also pray for the many agencies discipling people in the faith and for boldness in witness by many Christians. We praise God for Vietnam that there have been significant efforts and progress in building relationships and mutual understanding between the government and the Christian community. That Christians have been proactive and bold in meeting the physical and spiritual needs of their community. In 2020, we saw greater cooperation between local authorities and churches in providing relief to areas in central Vietnam hit by severe flooding. We pray that evangelism continues to take place through personal relationships. And we praise God that this is happening in the workplace, on church premises, and through street performances. It's so encouraging to just hear this kind of news in the midst of all that's happening. And so let's continue to lift up our brothers and sisters in these regions and let's pray for them. Dear Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for your goodness and your faithfulness and your presence with our brothers and sisters, Lord, in these regions. Lord, we continue to lift them and we pray that the sin of idolatry that deifies the leaders will cease so that everyone can serve the one true God. We pray that the sins of violating and repressing human rights will be stopped so that people can enjoy and worship the God who created all of us in His image. We also pray that vital foodstuffs and other basic necessities are provided to the North Koreans who continue to suffer from hunger and frigid winter weather so they can at least maintain their minimal standard of living. Lord, we pray for the current seminary and Bible college students in Pakistan to become good pastors and evangelists in the future. We also pray for the systemic discrimination faced by Christians in employment, education, and society. We pray for the Muslim background believers who face particular dangers if their identities become known. We pray for policies and laws on religion to be implemented with a greater emphasis on religious freedom especially in rural and mountainous areas of the country. We pray for greater unity and cooperation between churches so that they have a stronger presence in public life. And Lord, we pray for more resources for church leadership training, which was negatively impacted by the pandemic, and that they would attract greater numbers of younger Christians. We just continue to pray and believe by faith that you are listening to our prayers and that you will answer them according to your will and in your time. We ask all this in Jesus' precious name. Amen.